What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Vintage Cube draft here on the internet, and I'll be your host. And uh, we also have another host. Goalie in the chat today is actually going to alternate pick with us. Uh, this is a stipulation that we donated for, and <clears throat> uh, so I'll take the first pick, he'll take the second pick, I'll take the third pick, etc., etc. We're probably only going to do it for the first 11 or 12 picks, uh, up until the point where the you know there's like too much of a delay or like we can't get our answers in quick enough so i'm gonna just start with the mocks with the mock sapphire i think an argument can be made for channel but it's blue it's blue mocks so it's kind of like it's almost like i don't even get a first pick because it's such a given so i'm gonna just take it and put it over here and uh then we're gonna see what old goalie says Steam vents? I like it. <clears throat> I like it. Solid choice. Solid choice. It goes well with our mock sapphire. You might say they're the perfect compliment. Well, I guess the perfect compliment would be a volcanic island. But uh, this is nice because I could I could really be like, I'm gonna go in this direction, and you're gonna be like, oh no, I didn't expect that. And then I'm gonna be like, too bad, that's what's happening. And then you're gonna you can change the direction. Oh, mox ruby would also be good. Yes. This pack's not super exciting. Uh, I kind of like team or value decks in cubes. Like if you can get uh, Bloodbraid Elf and like Hydroid Crassus. Which makes me want to take Raging Ravine because I think Hydroid Crassus ta would table and this is, feels safer. I'm not a big Repeal fan. It feels kind of meh. Um, I like Harmonize. But I'm just going to take the Raging Ravine. And we'll see if the Crassus comes back. Well, we'll just stay open with Ravine. It's <clears throat> might not play it. We'll see. Signet? Boros Signet? All right. We're going deep. We are going deep. Signet deep, boys. I guess that can go in the main deck. Oh, Sylvan Library. Hmm. Is that a fifth pick Sylvan Library? That's pretty good. Got a Yawgmoth's Bargain too. Yawgmoth's Bargain doesn't go off these lands. Are we just, are we five coloring it? Are we five coloring this? Hey, so here's the thing. Goalie has seven trophies right now. We only have one. So, you know, got to default to the, the Signet. I'm going to take this Sylvan Library. Thank you. What if you just take all these lands? I can just take Dark Slick Shores. Cucumber in Wonderland. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I hope your your stay in your Cucumber Wonderland is wonderful. Yeah, it's either Sylvan Library or Dark Slick Shores here. Oh, man. This is such a weird pick. I'm going to take Sylvan Library. I think it's just better than, than the potential of Dark Slick Shores. Oh, Blood Braid Elf. We're doing it. God, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, Spire Bluff Canal. Okay. Okay. Charter Course is nice. Can you can you play a Blood Braid Elf? Cascade into Charter Course and then sneak in a hasty attack before you cast it so that you can still draw two? Uh, I think we're taking I think we're taking the Spire Bluff Canal, maybe. Actually I think Charter Course is probably better here. And um I really don't like the lands that come into play tapped after turn three. Oh, Fire Ice? That was a quick one. We could also take this Temple Garden. It, go, it goes well with our Boros Signet. Yeah, Fire Ice is a good pick, though. Um, I wish this was an Eternal Witness instead of Den Protector, but I think it's still fine. 
Fire Ice is very good. Fire Ice is very good. Yeah, I'll just take Den Protector. Run away and never coming back. Steam cans on a one way track. Thicket, I guess? No, we can still do this. Uh, Alright, so my pick will be... Now I will take the repeal. Are right, you ready? It's, it's not really going to matter, to be honest. I don't think it matters, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just take Shrine. <clears throat> uh, Grim Lava Mancer's a guy. We don't have any black lands, so that's... that's... Thank you! We'll just take Shooter McGavin. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. I, I'm i sad that you eat pieces of shit for breakfast, but that's okay. That's okay. We accept you anyway. <laughs> you know what, Goalie? It's your, your first pick. You go ahead and make your first pick. <clears throat> so remember that time we were like, oh, Mox Ruby would be a great compliment for this Mox Sapphire. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right, so, uh, oh, Scalding Tarn. Oh, there's the Eternal Witness. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Scalding Tarn, especially if we can get a uh, Breeding Pool or a Tropical Island or a Stomping Ground. Any of those things. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, two, two Moxes, two on-color Moxes. Seems pretty good. I do not have a problem with it. Stomping ground, solid choice. Solid choice. I approve of you. We're doing good. I like I like where we're going here. Oh, I like Trigon Predator, but I also like Phantasmal Image. I think it's Phantasmal Image. You're you're a three drop. You're never gonna be a two drop. Tundra's also super good, but I don't mm, meh. No, I don't I don't see time's probably being a consideration. Not in a, not in a, like, meh. Repeal and Blood Braid is kind of awkward, but, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not a, a believer that if you have a Blood Braid Elf in your deck, you don't have any X spells, because it just, I don't know, I think, I think one is fine, like, your odds of hitting it is so low, like, it's, it's whatever. Sower? I do like a good sower. Sour? Mike says sour. Also, Tracker is good, too. Oh, Little Jace? It's Little Jace. I think Little Jace is probably better than Fauna Shaman. Although, late game Fauna Shamans do scare me. Yeah, we'll just take Little Jace here. Just watch your video explain why you stopped eating pork. Same reason I did this while my diet is mostly chicken, although I do enjoy a good steak from time to time. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Nice. Good to hear it, buddy. Courser? Of course it is. Of course it is. So basically, blue-green, splashing a little bit of red here. Pigs do roll. I'm a big fan of pigs as animals. I think they're good people. Okay, you, see, you said Courser, this is my pick, huh? I think it's Splinter Twin here. There's still a potential of hitting things. And we can put on our Phantasmal and just make copies of everything, right? Yeah, I'll just take Splinter Twin. I feel like the upside's too high. Cruise? Oh man, I was thinking Biogenic Ooze. I was thinking Ooze, you were thinking Cruise. Alright, Cruise it is. Oh, the Eternal Witness did come back? I like this Lumbering Falls, but I'll just take this Eternal Witness. I 
Oh, Splinter Twin on Eternal Witness? See, that's a good deal. And then if they kill it, you can respond and get it back, so. What are my thoughts on Umazawa's charm? I, I think it's terrible. <laughs> I just like, no, this is unimpressive. Why did this treasure cruise go here? Opposition seems pretty nuts. Uh, I, I don't think we're getting deranged tournament back. I think that was, that might've actually been last pack. Yeah, you're going back there. Why, we have to end protector and eternal witness? That's so many. You're not a four drop ever. Uh, so it's mine, it's regrowth, right? We could actually play Resto here. I actually kind of like Resto. We have Razor Verge Thicket and we have the Boros Charm. I think it's better than Regrowth when we have Eternal Witness and Den Protector already. I'll take History just in case we end up being more white than red. Yeah, same thing with Sun Titan, I guess. Actually, hmm. These are some interesting last picks. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're we're I guess we're gonna take Jace the Mind Sculptor. These are some pretty decent pick one pack ones. We got Mox Sapphire, Mox Ruby, and Jace the Mind Sculptor. I was really hoping for Mox Emerald so we can complete the uh, the Teamer trifecta here. Yeah, I'll just take Jace the Mind Sculptor. I want to put Opposition in the sideboard for now because we are not there yet, I don't think, with only nine creatures and no real, like, creature generation. Talking about my creature generation. Yeah, I feel like I'm, uh, I feel like you're you're definitely keep, keeping us from getting rained on here with the, uh, the umbrella. Under my armor and uh, and uh. Man, if we took a Savannah, we could win swept teeth for it. That'd be cool. Still windswept? I could see search or uh Vencer. Eh, I don't want another four drop, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, we can windswept. It still gets stomping ground. Alright, so what are we getting here? I don't hate wall of roots. It's a I do want I think we want more blue lands though. Preordain's nice too. Well, it's draw two, then discard three, but I guess you'd be discarding Faithless Looting. Yeah, I passed Mystic Snake because it's goalie's choice. Um. This, this pack is actually ridiculous. Like, it could be Preordain, it could be Wall of Roots, it could be just Botanical Sanctum. I think it's Wall of Roots. Because it does let us play, like, Jace on turn three or Blibbert on turn three. We don't actually have great ways to do that. I don't know if I love that pick, but it is what it is. Snake probably will come back, you're right. Colonnade. I like it. I was thinking Tamio, but if you wanna if you wanna keep these this white dream alive, I'm on board. Oh, man. I really don't like Torrential Gear Hulk. Every time I, I see a Torrential Gear Hulk, I get real excited and then I look at my deck and I'm like, uh, okay, that's a blank. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, fire ice. That's what we can hit. There is a Chandra, there's an Inferno Titan. Uh, I don't know if we want to have that many double red cards, though. Like, we already have Splinter Twin, which I'm not even sure we're going to be playing. I'd almost rather have Jitte. Danny DB, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your, jo enjoy your job. Also, Compulsive Research here as well, which is pretty solid. We already have Treasure Cruise, though, and Jace and Charter Course, though. I think I'm just taking Jitte because it's too strong. Ooh. Ooh Are we just four-color green now? 
Oh, Grim. I was thinking I was thinking Hollow Fountain because we can get it with Scalding Carn and Windswept Teeth. But uh, yeah, Grim Monolith works too. Tyga. Oh, Tyga seems nice. See, we're not black, which is which is sad because these are two very, very good black cards. And so is this, I guess. So three black cards in a row that are very, very good. Hmm. Like we have actual no black fixing, so I think we're just on. I guess we're just taking Tyga here. This is also a really late sneak attack. I also don't hate a Carnage Tyrant. Do we need this? Yeah, we probably just take this, right? Jorga? Good old Jorga. Oh, Knight of Autumn, Nahiri, and Pelucranos. I don't like Nahiri as much when you don't have like a big top end to like to hit. I think we just want Knight of Autumn here. It's easier on the mana. And we don't have like a destroy artifact or enchantment effect yet. Also, hitting it with Bloodbraid Elf seems pretty good, or putting a Splinter Twin on it seems pretty nice. This pack's actually pretty interesting. Elspeth? I like Elspeth, especially with a Jitte. I also would have said Gideon, too. I think Gideon's good, too. I'm going to take this Botanical Sanctum. As you can imagine. Good old Quagums. We also have land tax. Oh, wow. Lotus Cobra and Chandra came back? Wow. Um, Jesus. I th think it's just Chandra? I think we have enough two drops. Yeah, I'll just take Chandra. I think the power level is way higher. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Helix here. I'm pretty sure you'll agree with that. And well, This is a last pick sneak attack? This is a 15th pick sneak attack? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. All right, now we have to build this monstrosity. We are, this is so many two drops. That's ridiculous. We, we could all, yeah, we could also sneak in uh, Bloodbraid Elf. Oh, now it has haste. What are you gonna do about that? I don't know if I like, I like Splinter Twin here. Sun Titan actually seems very good with all these like small cards like Phantasmal Image, Eternal Witness, Night of Autumn, History of Banalia getting back. Oh, that seems good. I feel like we actually want the double white cards. This like seems like the perfect Sun Titan deck. So we need three cuts. I could see cutting Repeal too just because it does turn off. Uh, it turns off our Bloodbraid Elf. It doesn't turn it off, but it's like one of the only things uh, that, you know, you know what I'm saying. I think our mana base is great. Yeah, I could see cutting these and then cutting one more card. What do you think the last card is? I like history a lot because we have Sun Titan. So, I mean, it's double white, which is rough, but we also, did we not get that Lotus Cobra? What do we take, Chandra of Lotus Cobra? I think that's fine. I like history because of Sun Titan. So like you just Sun Titan, get back history of Benalia. It seems insane. I also, yeah, I think I think we can take out the Den Protector because we have Eternal Witness. I think that seems good. And we have Grimmauld with Boros Signet. We have a, a lot of mana in the deck. So we get to add five lands. Oh, we can get rid of Quagmire. Giggity. All right, so let's sort by color. 
This deck actually seems pretty sweet. Alright. God, why do you always do this? Get over here. Or get over there, I guess. Doesn't matter. Alright, put you over here. So red sources, we have probably enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. Eight red sources for like this. Yeah, I think we're good on red. Uh, green sources, we have one, two, three. The Scalding Tarn, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight seems fine. Blue, we have one, two, three, four. Does Windswept Heath get a, get a blue? I don't think so. No. So four, this is five, six with Sapphire. Probably want to go to seven here. And then white, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This actually, this mana base seems good. Seven, seven, eight, six, I think. No, actually, red, we have like eight. It's like seven, seven, eight, eight. Which seems really good, actually. Is Modern Horizon just future sight for old mechanics? A retrospect? Yeah, it seems. It does seem like that. Yeah, I'm getting a real like. A lot of people are calling it Commander Horizons, and I don't. I don't necessarily blame them just yet. I don't know. The set seems interesting. Like it's a it's it's a modern set, but like a lot of these cards seem like they're just Commander cards. I don't know. I'm I'm taking it with a grain of salt, but. I don't like the number of planes we have in the deck, but I think it should be fine. In before we have two planes in our opening hand. Okay, one planes and no green sources, huh? This hand seems pretty rough. Although one green source gets us begets two. One begets two. I agree with you about mana bases. I'm a little reluctant to do it because I like playing with all the big cards and the, the big splashy things, but you know, I, I can appreciate the mana bases and uh, their necessity. <laughs> one B gets two. Yeah, that's true. That's the old one. That's the old B in the hand is two Bs in the bush adage it's a, it's it's a, it's a classic yeah i am going to keep this because you do have uh, a, a way to a way to draw a card with ice and we, all we need is either like one red or one one green source to just have most of our things and we're on the draw here like what could possibly go wrong <laughs> nailed it Never didn't have it, guys. Never didn't have it. Well, hey, it's not that I'm a Luxac. It's that I have that goalie umbrella, right? T Bombadil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcomes McBackums. All right, so what's our plan here? I mean, I feel like they're going to kill this, which makes me sad. I'm going to play Mox here so we can actually do this and still play Steam Vents Tapped. Or we can play it untapped and then keep this up in case you want to tap something or... Which I don't think is super necessary. Eh, I'm just going to attack for one. I think attacking for one is more important than leveling this to two. Leveling it to two might not ever be useful, but... Okay, they won't. They didn't do anything. Stomping Grizzles. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're almost at like... I, I, you know what? Sometimes I don't ice lands, especially on like when they're when they're mana screwed because I just feel bad. Uh, I think it just doesn't feel good. They're just gonna concede now, and it's gonna be bad times for everybody. Oh, I feel so bad now. Okay, they're taking it in stride. Oh, 
Uf. Uf. I guess we're going to have to use a little red Z here. This guy's just going to keep on getting in there. It's okay if you did. I understand. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. Oh, they made a sad face. Is that a sad face for me or for them? Oh, well, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, boy. Well, that's a big game. What does this thing cost? I mean, I guess we could cast it. Let's see what we draw first. A taiga. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Treasure cruise. Exile this, this bad Larry. Mox Ruby. Charter course. Man, if only we had a storm count here. One, two, three, four. We could just do it all. Do we play land? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll just play this thing so we can keep up Helix, I guess. All right, well. If Consecrated Sphinx and Woodfall Primus were dangling off a Mount Vintage Cube and you can only save one, which one would you save? <laughs> You're asking which one of my children I would save? I would save Consecrated Sphinx. I don't feel good about it. I act, I actively feel bad about it. If they play something like a... Like an Inferno Titan here, it's just really bad. Or a Consecrated Sphinx. It's so bad for us. Well, the thing is, if I save the Woodfall Primus... Yeah, but the, even if... Okay, so here's the thing. You guys are like, well, Sphinx could fly, so it'd be fine. Woodfall Primus is just going to persist when it hits the ground, dummies. So it's fine, too. God, you guys know anything about Woodfall Primuses. <laughs> Joke's on you. They both survive. I'm just trying to tell you which one of my children I would save. I think we have to kill this. And we'll have to use infinite mana to do so. Do we have a way to get a white source? Oh no, I don't want to like... Oh no. Oh man. Let's find out. I don't think we do. Oh, we don't have anything we can get with that Scalding Tarn. That's hilarious. One, two, three. All four of our all four of our lands are here. Look, kids, all our lands are here. I mean, I'm tempted to just play this now, but like, whatever. I think it's actually fine. I really don't want to like I don't want to wait till next turn we only had one source of white so we had to add all of it at the same time so I mean we didn't yeah I, I, I knew we could play this I just didn't want to play it I wanted to just flash it in because obvious reasons I feel like we've drawn a bunch of mana sources 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 there's only 7 mana sources in our deck now Including the Signet, so eight. And Wall of Roots, so nine. 
Is this a 16 land deck? Maybe. Maybe. Oh god, and the Exiled Tiger from the Chandra, yeah. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, untapping with this Chandra and this Restoration Angel. So, ideally, they don't do anything to uh, to ruin that for us. I'm really disappointed that when they played Mana Confluence, Mana, Mana Flare, rather, I didn't have a Kozilek to play. Is this just, but, it's just a Banefire? What's going on here? Are you going to Bonfire me? Explosion Expansion on the Resto. Okay. So they draw four. That seems good. I'm no expert, but that seems good. Taiga Uppercut. Wow, that's amazing. That's a solid throwback right there, my dude. Well, it looks like looks like old Shandy's gonna Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, see what happens. Wall of Roots? Yeah, why not? What the hell, alright? Alright, well, mana is not an issue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We could hard cast Thank an Emrakul you. right now. Monkey Knife Fight, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, look, this is this turn they're like, I got a swamp and a soul ring, so I'm still good to go. Yeah, Knight of Get Wrecked doesn't have the same flow to it, but, you know, gets the point across. Oh, well. Now you're just showing off. Phantasm Image, Raging Green, Boros Signet. That's actually fine. I didn't want to hit any of those cards. Don't kill this. Walking Ballista. Wait, what happened? Did they... Was that an accident? Did they just misclick? Oh no, a misclick has been. Uh oh. You done messed up, AA Ron! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so every time I every time I misclick, I don't feel as bad when this happens. I'm like, it's okay, the universe has balanced itself. As all things should. All right, we just exiled a Signet and a Raging Ravine, so the odds of us hitting an on-land is pretty high. It's like 1,000%, I think. 1,000%. Come on. All right, let's do it again. <gasps> you got to be kidding me. Oh, my God, you have to be kidding me. My heart. I have I has a sadness, guys. It's so strong. Man, I guess the joke's on me. Should have left that mana flare alive, am I right? Oh, they can actually copy our Phantasmal image here. And then copy Knight of Autumn, I guess? Gain four? I don't know if that's any good, though. 
But Ashok's gonna die anyway, so. Why wouldn't they blow up Jitte? Oh yeah, that seems pretty good. I imagine they probably will. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about blowing up Jitte because I was like, only a jerk would do that. That's a real jerk move. So I was like, there's no way our opponent would do that. They're upstanding. They're an upstanding citizen. All right, so what we're gonna do here is get rid of you. And littering and littering and let me get that life. All right, well, oh, they have a forest too. What's even happening right now? How did these even work, Jeff? What's going on, buddy? Good to see you, my dude. It's always so easy to tell which Jeff you are because you're Jeff DC, and I'm like, I know exactly who that is. Oh God, what's happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Well, that's something, isn't it? So they're probably going to put Sower of Temptation into play. Gain control of one of our own guys. That seems good, right? Oh, they didn't actually let us... Huh. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, it doesn't matter if they kill it or don't kill it. Like, do you still play other decks for money? I think it's an deck you made a few weeks ago. It's super fun to play. Uh, I definitely do play decks for money. But when you say it like that, it sounds sorted. Jeff, shoot me a Facebook message or an email message. We should chat. Okay, yep, I knew you'd do that. Thankfully, Chandra was at four, though. I don't see Chandra dying here. And then you play this Sower, and you steal... I feel less bad. <laughs> I feel less. Where do you make your deck play deal? Hey, do you still... You, hey, man, you still play decks for money? Yes, but I'm only doing it to pay for college, guys. God, unbelievable. I'm just trying to make I'm just trying to make my way through the world, guys. This is just rude. Okay, what can we draw? I actually have utterly no idea what our deck even has. But I'm grateful for Sylvan Library, I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh -wee. Uh, Let's put this on top. We don't actually have four green, though. Oh, man, our man. Oh, yes, you do. We got a wall. Put you on top. Pay four to keep in hand. Um, so we copy Phantasm, we get Phantasm Image, we copy Sower of Temptation, we steal a Miracle. Uh, we know the top card is a Plains, so we're actually going to play Courser here, one, two, three, uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to play Courser here, play the top card, Jace Brin's Prodigy. So one, so we have one, one, two, three, four for sower. One, two, three for eternal witness. 
Uh, we could also get Resto, which is actually probably better because... But we can't... Yeah, that's actually... Yeah. Um, yeah, we're actually getting... Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's figure this out. We Resto, we Blink the Sower. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I would love to play this Jace. Can we not play the Jace? If we got if we got Phantasmal Image, we could get we could get this Jace. And this I want this to attack the uh, the Ashiok. So I guess we want to I guess we want this off the board, right? Either way, we're playing Eternal Witness. Let's figure out what we're gonna get. It's either Resto or Phantasmal Image, right? If we Resto, we can blink the Sower, steal this. We can't attack Ashiok after the blink, though. We have nine cards, so I'm kind of not thrilled about that. I think it's safer to get Phantasmal Image. That also lets us plus Chandra, play Jace. Copy Sower, Steel Emrakel. Attack Ashiok. And now, like, I mean, obviously the Sower is super sensitive, and if they kill it, they get their Ash their Emrakel back. But if they kill, like, it was already a 2-2 anyway, so. Yeah, it's a weird feel. I, they don't strike me as a daze. Oh, they have Heartbeat of Spring, too. Oh, good game. Oh, do they just not have anything else? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, oh, boy. What even just happened? That was pretty insane. Huh. Mana base actually worked out. We had the one hiccup with the Sun Titan, but what do we have? Windswept Teeth. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven sources of white. So realistically, I I don't feel like that was a super uh, indicative of our. We could also just play land tax. I think it's actually fine like this. We are a weird value town deck. These are the kind of decks I love because they give me they give you a lot of play. Like you get to figure out a lot of things, and you're like, oh, let me let me figure out this these lines. Oh yes. Oh, this hand is beautiful. We got the old turn one, turn one this guy into turn two, level it up, play Grim Monolith. Seems good. That's a good one too. Well, now we have all our colors, so. We didn't see anything that kills this, right? So I guess we'll just go for broke again. All right, add to, I think it's monolith because we already have red white on board, so. I don't think we're gonna borrow signet here because that just seems worse. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have eight mana next turn if we hit an untapped land. Not that we need one, but. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. It's your boy. Well, that was unfortunate. I did not see that guy coming. Oh, I'm definitely going to just play Colonnade here. And then because we're going to have to tap this anyway, we might as well play Signet, add two, activate this, and play Knight of Autumn. And we'll put two counters on it. Actually, we just gained four here, right? 
Oh no, we want to be able to block these guys. Oh, dang, that's why we did that. I'm like, well, it just blocks. It blocks Goblin Rabble Master all the same if it's a two one or a four three. But we wanted the four three because it blocks these guys. Yeah, that was stupid. Alternatively, we just take two and we can crack back, uh, which lets us chart a course, which is fine. Yeah, just take two. Once we get Jitte, it'll be fine. Scalding Tarn. Guess we could just get an island. We're definitely playing this. It could just be Steam Vents. Do we want to go to 16? I don't think so. I don't know what they're doing, but they're they're doing some shenanigans. We already have two red. I think it's fine to just get Island here. that resolved as well um so we can just go block if they attack with this we can go block block jace would go two and we'll just draw three here put yeah that's fine One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get treasure cruise pretty easily. And now, much we kept that scalding tarn, but then we didn't have we didn't really have an option to keep the scalding tarn due to. Uh, that's not how double blue works. Sure. All right, well. It's not bad. Uh, we are going to attack with this guy now and assume we can draw a bunch of things here. Shut up and take my money. My second ever Q3O, so it's a tip to you, my sweet, sweet Q goods. JZ, thank you so much for the for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, my dude. Uh, let's use this one because we also have. Alright. Let's draw three. One, two. Alright. Alright, we're doing it. Let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put this and this back. Get back Scalding Tarn. And we can play Botanical Sanctum. So even if they if they alpha here, like even if they attack with three goblins, we can only block two. So there's really no reason to not play Sylvan Library here. I don't think. But we are shuffling away two lands. Yeah, this is, yeah, because we're not gonna have Jace anymore after this turn. So might as well toss down the Sylvan Library. Resto seems pretty strong with both creatures on the board. I don't even think that's capable. I think library is basically Jace every turn. I think library is very, very much on, on par with Jace in terms of like usefulness and power level, etc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine. Still nine mana sources here. Can also get that steam vents. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, it's definitely not a replacement for Jace, but it's definitely it's definitely decent. Okay. Saw that saw that coming. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Yep, I was like, I feel like they attack with Valve Master here too, because then if I block, they can just shoot. So we're not doing that. We're just gonna block here. It's too bad Jace costs four instead of three, right? <laughs> At chat mic. <laughs> Good times. Oh, and the kilobytes have gone to zero again. That's super cool. I have people coming for the internet tomorrow, so hopefully that'll sort things out. 3 p.m. exactly. Cool. Uh, let's get steam vents this time. Might even be modern playable, man. Can you imagine? Oh, seems good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jeez. Oh god. I guess we're gonna put this, uh, put you on top, put you on top of that. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Green, green, blue, blue. Yep, we could do it all. Everybody's been saying Jace needs to be better. Is that true? I can't actually tell if that's a joke or not. That's funny. Uh, I wish I actually had an... I wish I actively had a way to get rid of this guy. Casper, what's going on, my dude? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana, which is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, unfortunately. Oh, no, we get Scalding Tarn Thank back. You. Oh, wow. This is... This is good manas. Casper, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. All right, so we're going to use this. We're going to E-Wit here. Get back. Jace. I guess we could just resto it. You ain't you ain't kitten. Um, Shut up and take my money. Oh, who wants money to take it? Simulation only draft and play cards with three CMC or less. We do this every time. Try no red bonus points for Bob and Ashok. Okay, that's actually I like the try no red this time. Nice addition, my friend. Nice addition. Effort two. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. All right, let's. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna mark it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What were we doing? We were playing this land. because I want to be able to go doot doot doot. Here's a Jace. Draw three. I guess we could have actually just tapped this and then windswept heathed. Windswept heathed. But we're gonna actually Scalding Tarn anyway, so we're just shuffling those lands back. Yep. 
And now we have four mana for Resto, which is really just what we wanted. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'd rather blink this guy and get the Knight of Autumn back that way. I'm going to crack this now for reasons. Yeah, let's get the Taiga. Why not? Wien swept ocean man. Take me on the things of land. Shoot an Eternal Witness? Oh, man. Can we do a step where you take cards? That seems good, but really... That, that seem good, but really aren't? I don't know how many there are of that... Of that thing that you just said. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so... Yeah, you can get that. We're gonna... We still have Treasure Cruise and Elspeth and Jace and Sylvan Library on board. That seems pretty nuts, right? Well, we could just do this to Ewit. It's the same thing as saving it, basically. Uh, we're going to get this. Oh, no. What are you doing? You tap into blue in response? And then we're going to get back Charter Course, because next turn we can get back Knight of Autumn. You got a blue floating. <laughs> ew. <laughs> I think you mean ew witness. <laughs> uh, so we're going to block here, block here, and block here. And then we can also get a witness back next turn to get back Knight of Autumn again. Good lord. Sun Titan was just like, let's just casually pick up this Sun Titan. And it'll, and it'll end up being very, very good. I'm okay with it. Thank you. Bullrack Soup Slurker. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Soup Slurker? Slurper? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, regrowth? What did they get back with regrowth? Goblin Rival Master? Oh, they're just gonna play this guy again. I have a regrowth too. It comes on a 6-6, six, six, and I get to do it every turn. Resto and Sun Titan should make a naughty video. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yeah, let's use this ability. Oh dear god. I'm just gonna steal this and probably kill you, right? Uh, put on top, pay four to keep in hand. I'll go to four. I ain't scared. God, please don't. If they had Fire Blast, I guess we could always Lightning Helix in response. Don't concede yet. I want to be able to win. I want to win. I want to win in style. So there's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we get Helix you. Yeah, let's do that. No, wait, hold on. We'll jump. Go ahead and jump. Get up in the air. Boom, boom. Even this guy's getting in. We're all we're all getting in on the action here. Let's get back Knight of Autumn. I'm gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna kill my own Grim Monolith, cause YOLO. I'll just get it back next turn. It's funny because this might not even be a bad play because you could just get it back with Sun Titan and never have to pay the the cost. So, it's you know it's 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 not even it might not even be that bad of a thing. 
whatever. I'm surprised at how well that went. I had we had a good time playing that game. I'm I think our deck turned out what also Mystic Snake didn't come back, I just realized. Wow. That's not that's messed up. <sighs> let's just keep let's just keep doing what we did in round one. Dude, the value of this deck where we're like, let's Jason Sylvan Library and Sun Titan. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Sun Titan is new bay. Who was old bay again? I forgot who old bay was. We're going to start out with Celestial Colony because if we need the colors of Raging Arena, we just have Taiga to do that. So. Sun Titan looking like a professional graveyard juggler. <laughs> What's that even mean? Oh, Botanical Sanctum. Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, so this deck just gets demolished by Jitte. So what you're saying right now is I can play Grim Thank Monolith you. here. Next turn I can play Knight of Autumn, destroy your Grim Monolith. Oh god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna have eight mana though this turn. Please don't do any nine mana this turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So you're back at eight. They have one card in hand? What's going on right now? Can we do everything? One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so we can go three, four, five, six. We can play all of these things. Or we can just uh, play Wall of Roots, play Knight of Autumn, play Jitte off of it. It's got to be better to kill Soul Ring, right? Like, they get one activation off this, but two activations off... Uh, infinite activations off this. Craig, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Swaggy, Snappy, and Giddles? Who's Giddles? I don't even know who Giddles is. See, the good thing about our deck where I don't even like Grimaldith that much is that like we don't need the the mana. There's not a lot of colorless requirements in our in our cards. Um So I'm thinking we just do this and this. Right, and that's four. We play this, we have two left over, we can play this guy. Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we'd have to play an untapped land too instead of Raging Room. I think that's fine. Mr. Grumps, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Giddle, oh, Gideon, dear, <laughs> dear dog. Uh, is it, which Gideon? Does it matter, or is it just the character Gideon? That's the question we're asking here. Okay, so... Do I even care? Do I even care about this? No, I don't. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I can't untap that. Okay. Well, I was like, wait, why can't I do this? Yeah, we're just gonna play Taiga. We're just gonna. Because next time we have more than enough mana to do everything we need. Let's get rid of this guy. Next turn we're gonna. I don't really. I don't want to have Jitai on the board because it exposes it if they have like Rex Age as their last card or something, or if they draw like Acidic Slime. I'd much rather keep Jitte in hand to guarantee a hit, which kills both of these stupid dummies. Oh. Well then. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh god, we have Sun Titan next turn to get back the Knight of Autumn when they block with Elves. Oh boy. Which also kills their Grim Monolith as well. Oh, Jesus. This is a... Dude, this is a bloodbath. Actually, I never... I always F6 when I have Jitte on board, and I shouldn't, because if they're like... Acidic Slime, then I'm like, I'm gonna gain two. Gideon, five mana Planeswalker. That's a good one. That is a solid Gideon. I think that's one of the better Gideons. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's just kill this guy. We can't kill anything else, and I really don't care about you paying for it next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go Steam Vents and then play Library and Sun Titan here, which seems pretty good because we're going to have to tap the Grimaldith anyway. 
So we might as well get the value off of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sun Titan. Yes. Destroy this guy. And then play Silver Library. This deck is gas. Better get the bleach out to clean up this blood. Yeah, we're gonna need some real Breaking Bad love. Season one Breaking Bad level uh, level cleaning being done here. God, that show's so good. I need to watch Breaking Bad for like the eighth time. Okay, we won the game. All right, they have a bunch of nerds. I might actually bring in Pyroclasm. Pyroclasm is contradictory to our cards, but we just don't play them, right? Like, we don't have that many early creatures to tie to. We have uh, literally Jason, Draga Tree Speaker, and we can just not play those if we need it, if we don't need to. Yeah, I've watched Breaking Bad in total, uh, like the, like from you know from the beginning to end, like probably five times. I think it's definitely one of my favorite shows. It's just so easy. It's such a watchable show. Breaking Bad, the thing about Breaking Bad is it's consistently good from season one to season five. And like, or season six, whatever the last season was. I actually don't remember how many seasons there are. Um, it's consistently good. And at no point do I feel like anything like, it's just, it's just like the perfect show. I, I, I guess you guys, I mean, you don't have to agree for sure, but you're wrong. So that's weird. Uh, um, I'm going to take the Grim Model with that actually. Soundtrack's good. If if you're if you don't think it's top ten of all time, I can't actually think of nine better shows than Breaking Bad. I'm sure I could think of a few. I'm sure I could think of three or four shows better than Breaking Bad, maybe. But I can't think of nine better better like television shows that are better than Breaking Bad. That seems like a lot. I want you to know that taking Monolith out hurt everything deeper than my soul. Hey, buddy, listen. If you want to make a suggestion as to what to take out, I am I am more than... This is our draft. If you want to take it out, then you are more than... Uh, I'm more than, more than open to that. I mean, I won't even... I won't even... I'll concede that it might not be the best show of all time. That, that's, a, that's a crazy honor, right? But if you can think of nine better shows than Breaking Bad... I, I think Firefly is more beloved. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's a better show, like, objectively, as as far as, like, the metrics that... Oh, wow. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. You have no soul, my friend. Well, all of our lands let us cast things, so that's pretty cool. Let's draw one. I'm actually going to go to the island here. Because we do have an Elspeth, so I want to be able to play Elspeth. So, here we go. Uh, I actually loved Dexter up until the ending. I think the I think they kind of kind of got lost there. You know what card could get us out of this man issue? Are you, you referring to Mox Sapphire? Is that the one you're thinking of? Wow, they're going to strip mine our land. This is a good one. I'm having a good time. Uh... I'm having a good having a good time. Do, 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 do. I mean, joke's on you, buddy. I'll get out of this. I'll get out of this eventually.
I think Dexter was a really original idea. It had great characters. We got some great memes out of it. Oh my god, Pyroclasm would be so insane here. I mean, we lose our Jace, but... Man, Lightning Helix is good too, I guess. Out in the west, town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Get rid of this guy, you can't... Wow, they didn't... Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, Sower seems good. This whole hand seems good now. We can't actually cast the Bloodbraid Elf, unfortunately, with no green. They killed our green source, so I think we're just going to get rid of Bloodbraid Elf. Plus on any one of these dudes, I guess. We're going to plus on this guy because we want them to attack with this. And they're probably going to crack this, so... Okay, so, yeah, but so, okay, Josh, those are your preferences for sure. Like, I think if we're looking at, like, critically acclaimed TV shows, I don't think Doctor Who or Sherlock, the BBC version, I love Benedict Cumberbatch, I don't think any of those come before Breaking Bad, right? Like, you're free to like those shows, but I think there's definitely, like, you know, like, I, I know there's a ton of people who would think that, you know, who have favorite movies over The Godfather, like, a lot of people do. But I think most people can agree that The Godfather and The Godfather 2 are, like, top tier in terms of movies I see I see well we have all the elephants now look at me I have the elephants now well that's a green card they have destroyed five of our lands. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yikes. We're still going. We're not dead yet. I would put Seinfeld in there as well. Oh, boy. Well, that's a, that's a good last card to have right there. Oh, yeah, they destroyed five and plowed two, so... Seems good. The, I don't... I, the elephant within card is... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Yep, that'll do. Um, I, I think it's weird. There's a card that was spoiled, I guess it was either today or yesterday. It was probably today because it wasn't wasn't there yesterday. It's called Generous Gift. And it is three mana for an instant, and it says destroy target permanent, its controller creates a three three green elephant creature token. It's literally just beast within. It's just a white beast within. And this card's really weird to me because I think it's a good card, obviously. The same way Beast Within is a good card. Thank you. But I don't know why it's needed. John Paul, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I don't see why it's needed in the sense that, like, um, White has these abilities. Like, I feel like this set should have been used to put a bunch of cards that Modern could use into it. And this just isn't a card that Modern needs. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, it's a commander card. It still doesn't make much sense, though. Like, you still have Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light. You know, like, you have a million of these effects. So it's like... I don't know. It just seems like it's a... I don't know. I'm trying to keep my hopes high for Modern Horizons, but right now it's just kind of... I'm not... I don't know. All-time favorite TV shows, Breaking Bad, Seinfeld. Uh, Game of Thrones is up there. I, I watched Game of Thrones three times as well. Uh, up until the seventh season. Yeah, I think we're just fine still.
Yeah, this hand seems great. We have no white for the history, but we will one day. Uh, now we do. We're playing the white now because if we draw another white, we can play it. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I have a little bit of Mexican. Unfortunately, all of our cards require other things. This requires another white. This requires a decent creature. This requires a card in the graveyard. So I guess we'll just play you. I don't think you're blocking, and I also don't think you're attacking us, so. Oh, that's that's a keeper. Oh, and you get to the top ticket elves. Oh, no, you don't. Alright. Womp womp. Garrick. And what else for your strip mine? Okay, seems good. Windswept East also seems good. It gets our second white. So, Knight of Autumn. I kind of want to draw that, but uh, it doesn't really do much. I'd rather just play Windswept Heath. Crack Windswept Heath. Get a Plains. Play History of Benalia. Always yield to that. Play Raging Ravine. And I guess we're going to level this up because we're not blocking with it. And it could matter when we have Oracle of Moldaya and, uh, well, I guess Eternal Witnesses. So you have Garrick, and I have Tri Builder. Heroes was great season one, and I was super psyched for it. And then it, it was like. What's going on? This is terrible. Redizzle, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I actually like Lost. Lost was a show I, I consistently enjoyed because, um, I, I don't know, despite not having a plan, they still kept me on my toes and like I still didn't know what was going on and it was still intriguing. Like There was just still a mystery aspect to Lost that I really appreciated. And I will acknowledge that it wasn't the best show and it was a show that went from having a ton of promise to you know being all right but i still i still enjoyed it assassin's trophy on phantasmal image so we're going to draw sower i guess we don't need to remember that it's nice that we didn't invest our, our island here. I guess you don't need to have the Garrick either, so Tri Builder, sure. I've seen a few episodes of The Blacklist uh, with James Spader. I haven't seen all of it. I enjoyed what I saw, though. But it reminded me of, like, a white collar show. Blacklist, white collar. Yeah, I could see that. And uh, I did enjoy White Collar a lot. Like, sometimes I just like cheesy shows like that. I like I like Suits on USA. I like White Collar on USA. Uh, I'm re-watching House. Like, sometimes I just like shows with good characters like that. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso. I can have this. Chart, of course. That seems phenomenal. Phenomenal. What do we get back? We can get back one. We have four mana, so we can get back a Phantasmal Image. We can just wait on that. Let's just hit Garrick. They have two cards in hand. That seems good. And they're drawing a Sakura Tri-Builder. And they can't play any free lands off the top. Strip mine in the trash can. Oh, they're just going to pay like... Memory Jar. <laughs> well, they're tapped out this turn, so that really doesn't do a tremendous amount for them. Oh, you're just gonna... That's really weird. 
Because you only have you only have access to four mana right now. Where do you rank the Netflix Punisher? Uh, so here's the thing. I think it's a great show. I like it a lot. I enjoy it. But I can understand why it's not like top 50 best shows ever, you know? But that's like that's the thing. Like I, I mean, like it, it's it's fine to enjoy things that are not um you know, uh what's the word I'm looking for? Like the best of the best, you know. Uh we can't jitain now because we're gonna be discarding it with memory. Oh, we can because we get it back with Eternal Witness. That's pretty good. <laughs> best or nothing. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we're even if they kill a land, we still have Eternal Witness into Jitte into equip, which is pretty nuts. A soul ring. All right, so now you have access to one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Good. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even who even cares about that. And we're gonna draw resto too when we have like sower and. Oh boy, this is gonna be a bloodbath. How's how's that song go? It's not a bloodbath. It's an arms race. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not how it goes. The land on top? Scalding Tarn on top? Oh boy. Elspeth on top? Oh boy. Uh, one. A two. A three. Let's get Umazawa's Jitte. Yes. To E Witnesses ability. I'm going to crack this, get a stomping ground. I will. Yeah, never always going to pay two life. We got Jiraga Tree Speaker. I'll play this guy. One, two, three, four. Jete. Who are we putting it on? Probably just one of these tough ass knights, am I right? I mean, they get to keep Garrick here, but whatever. Or we can just go all at Garrick. That's fine too. Ooh. Whoa. This is aggressive. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is fine. Yep, can't do that because of the way stacking works. Uh, let's kill our fellows immediately. Let's kill this guy immediately. And I'll just pass here. And we still got Resto to blink Eternal Witness to get anything else back. I think this game's I think it's I think we're in the driver's seat here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean they have nine mana, but like Crater Hoof's not great, Terastodon's good. But whatever they Terastodon, we could resto the Eternal Witness to get back, so it's like we're in good we're in good situation there. We could also blink the sower, take their nine nine.
Man, Goalie, I'm really glad we took this Resto and this Sun Titan. These guys have been MVPs. Where mere, meanwhile, we haven't been able to cast this Bloodbraid Elf, unfortunately. What's that? You got a red, blade, red, blue, green deck? All right, well, let's just play the white cards and we'll be fine. You spared a squirrel. I can never, I, I can never harm these cuties. I think I said it doesn't matter, and I was like, I looked at our, I looked at our deck, and I was like, we have a lot of good threes to get back. Um, I mean, there's double white. I think it doesn't matter. I think you got to make it matter. I think it didn't matter at the time. I live in Florida, so I've seen squirrels up close all the time. They're adorable. Their claws are adorable. Everything about squirrels is great. They're cuties, for sure. God, even drawing a Sun Titan here is nuts. We can get History of Benalia back. We can get a land back. We can get Phantasmal Image back. Copy the Sun Titan. Get back History of Benalia after that. That would be brutal. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so we can still equip Jitte to something else. Oh god. Sun Titan, Sun Titan history. Equip Jitte. Ooh. Get at me after one of them claws up the trunk of your the trunk of your body. No one says that. No one says the trunk of your body. What are they flashing back? Deranged Hermit? Sure. That's fine. Whenever the opponent tanks like that, I, I, I'm i the opposite of worried. I'm like, okay, you have nothing. You're trying to figure out how to make the most of your nothing. It's poetic. <laughs> the trunk of your body. All right, well. We get to kill Garrick, equip this, and then kill this guy. I guess we could just make them pay the five next turn and kill it then. Because if they if they pay the five, then we can kill it after that. If they don't pay the five, then we're just saving a counter. See, but now I'm now I'm wondering what's going on. I'm just like, hey, buddy, listen, come on. Oh, they just made a beast. They're like, this guy's dead anyway. So, Sylvan Library. We have no way to draw cards, right? We could get back. We could blink and Bloodbraid Elf because we know we're gonna hit a Sylvan Library, which is pretty sick. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we still have enough to equip. I think I'd rather just Jace here. We do have Charter Course, so we can flip it with Jace, or we can uh, flash it back with Jace. I'm gonna add two with you, put you on here. I also wanna do this because we could hit lands, which is great with this Oracle of Moldaya. Yeah, let's get Garrick out of here. Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, definitely check out robsmom.co. It's a uh, it's a pretty sweet website that we created here on the on the Frank Lepore network. Um, so, one two three four, one two three four. We resto, we blink Eternal Witness, we get back Bloodbraid Elf, and then we and then we get a free library right and that just seems great yeah let's do that one two three four yes get back blood braid because not only like we're just going to draw this next turn which is unexciting 
So I'd rather actually draw whatever's on top. And we, if there's two lands on top, we just get to play those. Yep, cast that. There's an Elspeth on top, which is pretty exciting. I'm just a young boy from a poor, isn't it? I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this, what is it, monstrosity? Easy come, easy go, will you let me, you know, no, we will not let you go. Let him go. So we're going to see shows I like. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend the, the It Crowd. I, I have not watched the IT Crowd, or is it the, I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't know if it's It Crowd or the IT Crowd. Um, but I, I keep getting it recommended to me. Uh, I'll probably be watching some Chernobyl at some point. All right, little tribe elder. Here we go. And crater hoof. So, kill you. Kill you. Is this lethal? Probably. They never don't have it. It's unbelievable. The 6, 12, 18, 28, 36. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep. Never fails. Well, we got close. I felt like we were in real good shape up until the point where they uh, always have Crater Hoof. So, what can you do? Sometimes they just always have it. Uh, yep. I think we've drawn Mox Sapphire like 20 times and we haven't drawn Mox Ruby at all. Is stomping is is drag a tree speaker better than Jace on turn one? Yeah, because this doesn't still play Jace next turn because we can use two mana to pump this, play Mox, play Jace off of it. That seems good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was a good hit. Um, I kind of want the white because if we draw a thing, we can play Elspeth. Add two, play Mox, play Jace. Yeah, if we if you draw a white source, we can play Elspeth. If we don't draw a white source, we can just play Botanical Sanctum. That's a white source. Never didn't have it. Let's just get in there for one, I guess. If they have Pestermite, want to block. That's okay. All right, they did not have Pestermite. They do not want to. They don't want none of this. Hey, my mom is certified. 
I like how Josh was like that IT knowledge coming into play, but meanwhile he got the backslashes and the forward slashes confused. Unbelievable. As soon as you did that, I was like, I expected better. Uh, let's get rid of probably Botanical Sanctum here. I don't think we need more green. <laughs> it's okay. The internet's still new. URLs are complicated, man. I feel you. Oh, Venser. Okay. You're going to bounce my Elspeth? Joke's on you. I'll replay it. You're going to bounce it again with this? Joke's on you. I'll replay it again. I don't even care. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are one shy of doing both of these things. That's really sad to me. I guess we'll just chase here, see what happens. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I like that. Um, God, oh man, but what do we, what do we do? Do we just discard the island? Six, and then just hope we have a land on top? I feel like that's correct. I don't want to get rid of Treasure Cruise or Jitte against these guys. What's a URL? <laughs> That's a solid question. That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, I think it's Island and it feels so bad, but I think I'm okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, Courser. Oh no, we messed up. That's fine. We can still play Jitte. I think that's still good. We still have two white for this. I think it's all fine. It's all fine. Now, like, actually, nothing they bounce is really super bad for us. Yeah, I'm like, URL. That was just rude. It was rude that you would send that back to my hand. <laughs> just this guy, huh? Okay. Land off the top one time. Just one time. Oof, land off the top one time? Still one time? Can I still can I still have it off the top one time? You know what? You meant well. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna play it off the top. I'm gonna gain that life. One, one, two. I feel like we just have to actually equip Jitte and kill this idiot. I mean, if we attack with this, they just block with like Venser and two goblins, right? And that seems pretty bad. We can't leave this guy around is really what we're... I guess we could steal it if we had a second blue. Hmm, that's unfortunate. And if we attack with just... I guess we could just suicide this guy and then kill the siege gang with it. I guess that's fine. I mean, they're definitely going to block with Venser, so. Yep. I'm just here for the counters, my dude. Yep, there's the Kiki Jiki. Nothing they have right now is terribly scary. I'm glad we got the Siege Gang off the board. I imagine they copy one of the two bouncy boys and then kill the, you know, bounce this guy, but currently they're probably just going to wait until we equip. Oh, 
which seems good. Probably discard Raging Ravine. We're gonna probably play this planes, I guess. Oh, now we're just gonna play the forest. <sighs> yeah, that seems fine. Phantasmal image off the top, huh? What does that do though? Hmm. This is actually pretty tricky. Uh, if we still Kiki Jiki, they just bounce the sower in response, right? But I guess that's fine. Oh, they didn't see the line. They didn't see the line. Nice. Oh, that was good. That was real good. Um, we're just going to pass here. I don't feel like having them double block, especially because this Riftwing Cloudscape dies. So, If they have a burn spell for Sower, the Kiki-Jiki still is tapped, and then we can still equip Jitte next turn. So they have to have two removal spells here. And we still have Phantasmal Image, so... Treasure Cruise is good, but it taps you mostly out. And a Ponder. Alright, so now you're just tapped out. And now we get a free Kiki Jiki. Man, I wish we had a Sacrifice Outlet. I could, I could copy Sower of Temptation, steal one of your guys, and sacrifice it. That'd be pretty gas uh yeah that's fine i almost don't want to loot with jace because there's nothing i want to get rid of and i also if we draw this and there's a land on top i'd rather just play the land for free yep like that oh now we can sack it to make sure we draw that next turn Wow, there's a lot of good things that we could do here. Um, <laughs> so I think we want to also play Elspeth here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana, eight, nine mana. Uh, we only have three white, though, so we can't do both of these. Let's get rid of that. So I might treasure cruise here. Get rid of all four. Or you'll probably keep the Raging Ravine. Okay, let's see let's see what this does. Play image, copy sower, steal the cloudscape. 
Kiki Jiki to copy the Cloudscape. Bounce this dude. Pay two, three, four for Elspeth. Make a one one, just because I want to have blockers. And Jitte on the good sower, right? Yeah, okay. Nope, and just making sure we can't do that. Yeah, that seemed good. That was a solid turn. <laughs> the Good Sower, a new family drama coming to you from ABC. <laughs> oh, man. Let's make sure we equip the Good Sower, not the Bad Sower. I'm going to keep these counters on here because, worst case scenario, I want to be able to kill the Kiki Jiki, but these guys aren't really threatening us right now. So, All right, so let's bring in the Pyroclasm. I also don't hate repeal in this matchup because you can just bounce like something stupid. I don't know. Like a lot of their creatures have value though, so maybe not. <clears throat> I'm going to take Grimmauld with that again. I just don't feel like it's doing much. Like the problem is like we have a lot of restricted mana costs and like all these are like two mana, two mana, two mana, two mana. But we already have two moxes and a Draga Tree Speaker and a Wall of Roots. Like we want colored mana and the colorless mana is just not. Plus I'd rather uh, reduce the number of cards we draw in the late game that are not ideal. Man, draw a tree speaker every game. Um, actually, one. We play this, play this, we play this. I think we're just Wall of Roosting and then playing Bloodbraid Elf on turn two. That seems good, right? All I heard was, I hate you, goalie. I hate you so much. Uh, that's because it's, I was using a, it's a, it's a, it's a antiquated dialect. So I, I can, I, I, I understand why you heard it that way. Um, it was awkward. It was awkward for everybody. Like, there's no way you can go Tree Speaker on turn one into uh, Bloodbraid on turn two, right? Because you're not going to be able to to make that bigger until turn two. So we're just going to go land, Mox, Wall of Roots into Bloodbraid next turn. Don't brag about your elves and your Wall of Roots in. You guys, you kids want to go hit the old uh, Sock Hop tonight and do a little Wall of Roots in? What can we get with this? I think it's just a planes, right? It's nothing exciting. No, we can get a stomping ground or a taiga. Let's get a taiga. No, we have Jason in the deck. We'll just play land here. I have to do one of these jobbies first. Two, three, this guy. Oh, that's the worst thing we could have hit. We could have hit a Jace. We could have hit a uh, Sylvan Library. We still, we still had hit a stupid a lightning helix when they have no creatures on board against a deck with the infinite combos. Come on. Come on. Current record without the Gramonal of his O2. Oh, dang. Oh, here we go. I'm going to get my ancestral recall. You see, it's a buy deck. Hmm. Ancestral recall, that is not, my friend. Uh, let's play Colonnade. Play this lady. Make her big. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Put it on taps. Plays a ponder. Tax and Spellseeker. We're going to block. Play a land. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Draws a land. Plays a forest. Taps a forest. Nothing but dead. Bo 
boom, 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 boom. Look at this guy. All the three mana creatures that search for things. We got fire ice, my dude. Oh. Oh. Well. And we're just gonna play Jace here. One, two. J -j -j Jace, keep up that fire ice. We can also start attacking with Celestial Colony next turn. Oh yeah, Saffron Elves great. Seth is great. I have no, I have no. Uh, this isn't me making fun of Seth. I just think it's very funny. All in Saffron Olive Voice stipulation. We're gonna crack our windswept heath. Goblin Dark Dwellers. Cast Burst Lightning. Kill your Jace. Another Manette. Goodbye, Jace. No blockers. Basically dead Dark Dwellers. Very sad. We have a lot of mana, though. Like, if we could draw Sun Titan here, oof. Oofs, magoofs. They played the Ponder. Let's get a uh, Stomping Ground, because that's the card we don't want to draw, whereas Taiga were fine drawing that dude. Oh, we do need another blue to... Uh, to start doing both the things now. We need another blue for this guy and for this guy, so that's sad. Okay, well. Well, it's pretty scary if they go, like, copy Dark Dwellers and then they get to preordain or ponder again for free. Oh, better buttery biscuits. Here we go. Here's your boy. Yep. I'm going to let them resolve this first because they're going to resolve it thinking that they have their Kiki Jiki. And then we're going to kill it. And then we're going to murder it. It will go into the garbage can. I mean, we're going to take eight, though, which is pretty brutal. But then we're going to draw a blue source, and everything's going to be all right, guys. It's okay. How come I don't get to draw a card with a, f with a fire half? It's just the ice half. That's unbelievable. This card's terrible. Uh, let's cast fire on Mr. McJeekums himself. All two damage. Put that dude in the gun. We have so many live draws except for the double blue ones. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. That's so sad. God, Sun Titan would have been great here. Yeah, we could level up the Tree Speaker, but I, I just like I think feel like keeping mana open is like if they they're gonna do things when we have six mana open that they're not gonna do if we have no mana open. Like, this still isn't going to block this guy. It's It already blocks these guys fine. Like, Come on, don't do anything. Jesus. I, I'd like a... Tre Can I get a treasure cruise? I'd like a treasure cruise. I'll take a Mox Sapphire. See, I, I talk shit about the Mox Sapphire in these other games, and that's why it's just not showing up here. <laughs> well... Well, you see. <laughs> I actually don't even care about this. I'd rather just make a 4-3. Four, four, because then we can double block this guy with Wall of Roots and Knight of Autumn. So, I'd rather not die.
Oh, interesting. How about Sun Titan? Sun Titan off the top? That seems good, right? Kill that Knight of Autumn. Venser. Do you Venser my Knight of Autumn? Fascinating. It doesn't seem great. Because you're basically just trading a Venser for a Wall of Roots here. Which is fine. Not what we're looking for. I'm going to keep playing lands, though, because I don't want to not have... I want to have as much mana as possible. I'll put two counters on it. Yeah, we are just drawing a tremendous amount of mana. Wall of Roots is mana. Draw a Tree Speaker's mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also, Lightning Helix is free, so it kind of breaks even with the land that we searched for, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to ten. Rough. Rough. As Hunter would say, rough. All right. Um... Click a card to put it into their graveyard. All right, Zealous Conscripts is 100 going, going in the graveyard. I think Splinter Twins also going in the graveyard. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they can play both Riftwing, Cloudskate. Oh, what if? can we imagine if we draw Pyroclasm here? If they bounce this guy with Cloudskate and then they... Uh... All right, they played an island, so they're probably going to go Siege Gang, Riftwing. Oh my god, my kingdom for one pyroclasm. We have a 1 in 23 chance, guys. It's like less than 5%. Yep. Oh, I see. It's a Jace instead. Yeah, we'll go to 3 here. Yep, we're gonna just concede here. Let's go to the next game. We did bring in the Pyroclasm, right? Yeah, Island would also be good. Maybe a bunch of maybe Grim Lava Mancer's good. I don't think we usually we don't have that many cards in our graveyard, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're fine like this. I think our deck is good. I think we just get these these uh Yeah, that's true. Like if you're yeah, you could probably take out Cruise and bring in Grimlov Mancer if you're not Oof. Really? Okay. Uh yeah, put you on top. I think that's fine. We can't get a blue source with Windswept Teeth, which is unfortunate, but we are going to just play Draga Tree Speaker next turn and not crack. Because next turn we can crack get a Stomping Ground. Oh, I see. Well. I'm just going to assume you have Burst Lightning, and then you're going to attack for two. That seems bad. For everyone involved. Well, everyone here. Look at that, you did it. That's worse than burst lighting. We take a whole damage.
Well, it's stomping ground as always. Let's kill a Mox Ruby, I guess. Oh, so sad. I mean, next time we can go Eternal Witness, we can actually block. We can actually choose to block here just so we can Eternal Witness back our Knight of Autumn, which I think is fine. And we're one blue away. Oh, they missed the land drop. That's pretty nice. Um, also, f f we can't get another blue with Windswept Heath, so I don't think that's great. I think we just want Knight of Autumn here. We can also copy the Eternal Witness as well if we really need to land next turn. Really? Okay, I'm I'm game. Does this get anything from our deck? Yeah, it does, right? Like, we have Fire Ice we can get. Which kills both of these? That actually seems nuts. Oh, Fire Ice is four? Oh, that sucks. I guess we can Lightning Helix this guy, which is probably better than Pyroclasm because we get to keep our guy alive. Actually, maybe just having Pyroclasm here is better. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Pyroclasm. If we hit another blue, we can just start attacking with 4-3 and 4-4, which seems pretty good when they're behind on lands. They are going to preordain, though. Seems good. Seems good. Yeah, Pyroclasm has to be revealed. You have to reveal it if it's, uh, you know, if there are conditions to the card you get, it has to be revealed. Keekums, McJeekums. Come on. These double blue cards, I don't understand. Don't we have like eight blue sources in the deck? I think it's many cards in their graveyard. Like, I know they discarded twice with this guy, but I must have missed them putting Gush and Gifts Ungiven in their graveyard.
I feel like the only reason we've lost these games is because we couldn't hit a second blue when we have multiple double blue cards in our hand and a Celestial Colony on the board. So. Uh, I don't actually mind them Kiki on Recruiter because then their Kiki is on board and I'd rather Pyroclasm that. Sure. Because once they expose this guy in order to copy the Recruiter, they can get like something boring. But then I'll just wipe the board. Okay, see, this is probably where we're going to wipe the board. Because I definitely don't want them kikiing and copying Siege Gang. Well, it attacks, so that's a thing, I guess. The problem with them tapping out, like, they have no reason to play Kiki. Like, they have no reason to play Kiki if they have Siege Gang and three goblins on board. They can just totally control the flow of the game. Siege Gang basically takes over the game when it's on board. <laughs> A Sun Titan here would be utterly insane. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get Sun Titan, we Phantasmal Image, we get Sun Titan, we Eternal Witness, we get Pyroclasm. <laughs> like, it would be utterly insane. I would also take a blue mana. A Wall of Roots. That's one of the more exciting cards we could hit. I guess we can't hit fire ice <sighs> sun titan was the only card in between root wall of roots eh, we'll just go the other way We'll attack Jace with this guy in this game. You, you could have Burst Lightning in hand. So I'd rather just deal 3D. I'll deal one less. And... Wow, Sun Titan, literally the only card between Wall of Roots. Would have just drawn it next turn. <laughs> now it's on the bottom of the library. I will take a Scalding Tarn so we can shuffle our Sun Titan back in one time. Sure. Bouncing either one of these is not super impressive. Bouncing Raging Green is probably where you want to be. Mm -hmm. A bold strategy, Cotton. That's legendary. MC Joe is a narc. <laughs> wow. All right, well, we're gonna get in there, I guess. So they can't block, right? Well, I guess they could block and then make a guy, but then this guy dies, so that doesn't seem ideal. So they're not blocking anything. They're just going to make a copy and bounce something, like probably Raging Green. Oh, they can't even do that, actually. So what, they take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, they go to 2? That seems bad. I did forget about that. To just block here and be like, oh, well, I guess I throw away my Splinter Twin. Going to 2 seems pretty bad. This is why I figured you bounce Raging Green, because at least I can activate that. And bouncing these just gets, gets me value.
Oh, you're just gonna. We're just going to two here. I guess this is where they go land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play zealous conscripts, untap their own land, and kill us with Kiki Jiki. Well, I guess we'll find out if that's what happens. They have to have land, Kiki Jiki, zealous conscripts in the four cards of their hand. So. Okay, that is not one of them. Oh, you're just impulsing? Oh, that seems like desperation. Yeah, they could have they could have Pestermiter to see Rex Arc. We haven't seen them in the in the in the other games. Yeah, he said, I forgot I can't copy this card. I think you can. I mean, you can. You just... It just doesn't do much. Three mana. Oh, here he is. Oh, tapping that guy down? That means we can steal? No, it doesn't. Well, now we are in the main phase, my dudes. So they actually have to bounce Raging Ravine, right? Well, they just they can just bounce it though. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, activate. One, two, three, four. We're so close to doing it all. Are they going to bounce the the blood breed? If so, this is good because this fencer dies. Now we have to get him in a position to use all his resources so we know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, this is what we wanted to do because we know they have Kiki Jiki in hand. So now we can sower this and they have to be able to get it back. It, bouncing this doesn't do anything. They just replay it and they play Kiki Jiki in the same turn and killing us. What are the odds we hit Lightning Helix off this? <laughs> I mean, we just have to steal this and hope they, they can't deal with that, right? Because if they can, we die. I mean, we could either play this and hope it hits Lightning Helix, or we just play Sower. Uh, 
All right. Because we can also hit Moxes off this, which is pretty rough. <sighs> yep, never don't have it. It's super annoying. I would love to make them do it because they have three minutes on the clock, <laughs> but whatever. Let's please return to the game. We would have hit Jitte. Like, was there a different line we could have taken? Like, I mean. If we play Jace, bounce the Venser, they activate Venser in response and bounce probably Raging Ravine. This is already tapped, so the only attacker we have is Blood Braid Elf into their Goblin Dark Dwellers. It doesn't do anything. Because they're not going to bounce Shut this because we just this mind. is already tapped. Yeah, I still had a great time. I think the deck was still pretty fun. Goalie, thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do all that. I really appreciate it. This is actually super fun. We should definitely do it again sometime. But, um, uh, just really discouraging. I think, how many blue mana do we have in this deck? I'm really curious. I thought it was eight sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Windswift Teeth can't get it. So I guess it's only seven. It still seems like enough, but I guess I guess especially with like Charter Course and Jace and Treasure Cruise, but what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Sign those like and subscribe buttons. If you're not watching on Twitch, I'm not. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're not watching on Twitch, uh, then uh, check me out at meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Also, check me out at manatraders.com. You'll get 20% uh, off the first three months of any subscription if you use the link and the promo code in the description below. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. See you later.